my name is Emma and today we are going to be talking about centripetal force. Centripetal force is in physics and it's the force that propels, it moves an object in a circular motion. But that motion is eventually going to take that object to move down to the center of the circle or wherever it is. So think about like a lasso. When, you're, when someone's swinging the lasso, they're swinging it around in a circle. It's going to keep moving in that circle, but eventually it's going to fall into the center, right? So today we're going to be doing that same thing, kind of, but we're also going to be doing a little twist to it. We're going to be making a little bit of a singing noise um, with just two objects. We're going to use a balloon and then also a hexagonal nut. It's just a little circle with six sides. Um, people use it in construction and building things all the time. And we're going to see if we can make a noise by using centripetal force. All right, so I'm going to drop the hex nut into my balloon and then I'm going to go ahead Make sure it's in there. I'm going to go ahead and blow up my balloon. It doesn't need to be too big. Tie it off. All right. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my balloon at the top and I'm going to kind of hold out the bottom to kind of balance it a little bit and I'm going to move it around in that circular force. Okay. In the circular force. So it's gonna be using this intrepidal force. All right, and so you can hear the nut, you, you could hear the hexagonal nut moving, um, moving around and it was making that noise, that kind of singing noise. And so what was happening while the centripetal force was moving, while it was moving that nut around, it was also using friction. So because the hexagonal nut has, it's not a perfect circle, it has sides to it, it was rubbing against the sides of the balloon. It was causing friction. And so that friction was what was creating that sound. So um, go ahead, try this at home. These, things, these materials are very easy to find and try a few other things with it. Try to see what happens if you use a penny instead of a hex nut. If you use a marble or anything else that might be circular or have kind of a bizarre, weird, um, circular shape to it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me today and I hope to see you soon. Bye.